how to install the thermodrain. Inside the thermodrain box, you're going to find two sets of instructions, English and French, on the installation procedure. You'll also find two rigid drain couplings from ABS to copper. You'll also find a thermodrain with a, if you ordered it with the option of the PEX included, you'll see that it is a leak proof system. Now there's three ways that you can install the drain water heat recovery where there's only one shower in the house. Uh, the first is the most efficient that you're seeing here. The cold water comes in the bottom of the thermodrain. Preheated water goes into the inlet of the hot water heater and then to the shower. The second is to preheat to the cold shower only. So the cold water comes into the bottom of the thermal drain, collects the heat, and it goes to the coldest shower. So you're mixing warm water with hot water. In this diagram, you're basically sending the preheated water into the hot water heater. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to verify the length of the thermal drain. And the thermal drain we have today, we're installing is 48 inches. We're then going to identify where is the drain water from the shower draining. So there's, if you've got two drain stacks leaving the home and you're not sure which one it is, what you do is you run the shower and you put your ear along the side of the drain and you should hear it trickling down. My unit is 40 inch, inches long. My stack is 62 inches long. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it at the lowest point possible on my drain so that the top of the unit is starting to form the film properly and I get full efficiency on that unit. It's not necessary to order a 62 inch length unit just to fit in a 62 inch length uh, piece of stack. So the bottom of the coupling here, you can see we're going to be measuring to the lip where the cut is. It's a one inch lip. So from that point here to there, it's a one inch. I'm gonna mark off the bottom of the coupling where I want it. And I'm gonna mark off a cut point one inch above the bottom of the coupling. My unit again is 48 inches long. So I'm gonna give myself half an inch room to put in that drain water heat recovery unit. I'm going to cut at 48 and a half inches. So we're going to cut at the bottom cut line and the top cut line. We're going to remove the grid off the side. We're going to put the thin lip all over the top of the ABS. As you can see here, the thin lip and the top has got the thick lip for accommodating a smaller copper diameter from the thermal drain. I'm going to put, fit the sleeve over top of the coupling. And again, I'm going to make sure that I'm putting the right side. You can't put it, uh, the, the, the thin side can end up on there, so you got to be careful, but this will work. You push it all the way up, and I'm going to install the thermal drain at the bottom first. Squeeze that guy in there, and we're going to put the top of the thermal drain in with the coupling. Slide that rigid coupling over. I make sure the two bolt heads are facing out. I'm going to tighten them up, make sure they're snug. Same thing with the bottom. Tighten it up, and then I'm going to verify that it is, in fact, vertical. So again, preheated water is coming out of the thermal drain through the top, and the cold water inlet is at the bottom. This is a counterflow heat exchanger. That's why it's set up like this. So my shower, I'm getting 70, 70 degrees out of the thermal drain and 52 degrees coming in. That's a temperature increase of 25 degrees. If you have any other questions, please contact us. Here's the contact information. Thanks for watching.